lovely people. So today's vlog is going to be quite a bit shorter to what I was expecting it to be and to uh, uh, my first one. Um, primarily for the fact that I have been in a rush all day so I haven't really had time to pick up my phone and vlog anything. Um, also the fact that I was very very tired this morning after seeing the Broadway Broadway last night that um, I decided not to go and see the matinee of the show I was seeing. Normally I'm not that kind of person. I go and see everything that I've purchased a ticket for but I was knackered and my ticket only cost £10 so I just thought you know what no I need to sleep because I've got so much on tomorrow as well. I don't be in London all day and then having to walk around and find things to do in between one show and the other show. So that, so I didn't vlog earlier because I didn't have anything to vlog about for that show and then I'm one of these people because I don't wear a lot of makeup very often um, I always forget how long it's going to take me to put it on and it always means that when I'm going to somewhere like London I cut it really fine with doing my makeup and then getting to the train station because my train station is about a 20 minute drive from where I live because I live in the middle of nowhere in a little village um, so I had a major rush earlier to get to the train station for tonight's show um, got here just in the nick of time then there was tons and tons of people on my train and I didn't really want to vlog because that's a little bit embarrassing then um, had to get the tube, had issues with the tube, had issues with my Oyster card not going to go into the long story of it um, eventually got to the theatre and I, was, I got there like five minutes before the curtains up and yeah, I just didn't have time to vlog beforehand I was going to then vlog during the interval but left an info instead so kind of I wasn't sure whether to vlog during the info like and make it obvious to people that one I was leaving and not coming back and two that I was being really derogatory and walking around saying very negative things close to where the theatre is because I don't think that's appropriate and should be done and a lot of people do it when they leave a the theatre and they haven't and they've seen a show and they haven't liked they've suddenly been like ooh that was awful worst thing to do because no matter how bad you might think it is, someone might love it and they might want it to stay in the West End. And if you're going around shouting it, it's a cra crappy show, kind of my language. Um, it's a bad show. You're not going to help it to survive. And the people who enjoy it aren't going to get to see it for as long as they want to see it. Um, so yeah, saw you in town. Had really high expectations because the reviews for it have always been like four or five stars. Even when it was at the St James and then when it came to the Apollo Theatre. Um... I just, I just didn't get it. Everyone was laughing through most of it. They seemed to find it hilarious, and I was just sat there like, "Why is this funny?" Um, I have quite a good sense of humour, and I get quite, and I know it's originally from America, and I normally get American sense of humour quite well, and I just didn't. Um, I saw, I could work out why they were laughing, so I can understand why they found it funny, but it was almost like as a musical, it was just trying too hard. Um, and I didn't really like that about it. Like, references to general musical theatre was a bit unnecessary, in my opinion. Um, I mean, I could tell it was directed by Jamie Lloyd, and I love Jamie Lloyd. Saw The Pride, and I adored it. Um, and I've seen some other bits of his that he did when he was lesser known, and I love those too. So I don't think there's anything towards him. And the cast are actually incredibly talented. Like, their voices are amazing. I just think they're let down by the story. When you read the story online, it sounds like there's a plot, but when you're watching it, you're like, how is this a plot? This doesn't make any sense. Like, the first half, there's no continuum. There's nothing like moving it on. The song, a good musical is when the song, a song moves the story on, and it wasn't doing that at all. Um, and I didn't find the music very memorable. The only song I liked in the first half was the first song, which is A Year in Town. And that's the reason why I thought I liked it, because when I saw the trailer, that's the song that's always in the background for the trailer. Um, I've been told by people on Twitter that for the second half, the music is a lot more diverse and a lot better, so I should probably should have sat through it. But to be honest, I was so glad to leave and get out of there, which sounds awful, but it's true that I couldn't be really bothered to wait to find out what the second half is like. Um, I know 
Run Freedom Run is meant to be this amazing song in the musical that gets a standing ovation even though it's not the finale but I couldn't be bothered to wait for that um, yeah it's a real shame I've only ever walked out of one show before and that's Merrily We Roll Along which also had um, what's her name I can't remember her name now it's like Jemima or Gem I didn't get a programme but she's a famous actress who's also in Merrily We Roll Along I'll find out and put it in the um, description box but yeah, it's a shame because that's the second show I've walked out that she's been in the cast and I kind of thought this is a weird pattern how she's in shows that I don't really enjoy. Um, but yeah, I just didn't get it. Didn't enjoy it. And it's a shame really, but there we go. Shorter blog than most. Um, I'm not going to the theatre tomorrow in London, but I am going to vlog. So I'll let you see what that's about. Um, but hopefully the next show I see, whenever I see it, I think it's for a couple of weeks now to go on way. I'll enjoy it a lot. Um, so, see you next time. Bye. Hi guys, so we've just got in my car and I realised I didn't talk about the theatre. Um, the Apollo Theatre, there was like for a Saturday night evening show, just move that, so many seats were empty. It's weird because when people clapped at the end of the numbers, it sounded like it was a completely full theatre, but I was in the dress circle and Half of it was empty, which even the show's not selling very well on a Saturday night, you can normally do pretty well. Um, having said that, I booked my ticket through lovetheatre.com and I got it pretty cheap for a Saturday night performance. And whilst there were alarm bells in my head when I purchased it, I'm thinking this is a bit odd. I, when I came in and I saw there was quite a lot of empty seats, I thought maybe it's because of the roof collapse and people aren't prepared to come into this theatre anymore. I mean, when it happened, when it first happened, to me it was like, oh my gosh, this is quite scary. Um, but I'm not going to let that put me off going to the theatre. It's a very rare occurrence. It shouldn't scare people away from seeing the theatre. It's a real shame it does. Or well, it is doing. Because um, I think it is having now seen the show, whilst there are a lot of people in there who loved it, and I didn't, I actually do think it's not the show that's putting people off, it's the theatre. Um, and whilst, in my opinion, it's not a great show, I'm not going to be derogatory and really, really negative about it to people who do enjoy it, because I respect people's opinions and I appreciate that everyone's opinion is their own. Um, and I think it's a real shame that a show like You're in Town that was so successful at the St James's Theatre has been transferred to the Apollo. I don't think that was a wise decision. I think if it had gone somewhere else, admittedly there aren't a lot of empty houses at the moment, but if it had gone somewhere else, in the West End, I think it probably would have done a lot better on an, and on a Saturday night the seats would be full. Um, I also will say though, it's a very small theatre for Shaftesbury Avenue, but that's the only negative thing I'm going to say about that, which you can't really help. Um, but beautifully redecorated, absolutely beautiful, the amount of effort they've managed, the amount of money they've probably spent, Nika Burns has done a fabulous job and making sure that you come into that theatre and you, had, you have no clue that anything happened there. That it's been like that for years so all credit to Nick Burns it looks amazing um, beautiful venue shame we didn't like the show, the show but onwards and upwards I see a lot of theatre all the time because I'm such a theatre nerd so hopefully the next thing I see I'll love um yeah so I'll speak to you tomorrow and I hope you enjoy this vlog even though it's a little bit different this time okay bye